Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk about a possible Jurassic Park prequel idea that I've had stewing in my brain. There's been a semi-recent post on Jurassic Outpost, someone making a rough outline for the movie called Hammond. Following the beginning of the creator of Jurassic Park, I wrote a draft in 2018, similar but had other ideas in mind. The book includes beginnings of how the park was created and challenges such as workers falling from cliff sides, which would be an interesting aspect rather than dinosaurs. It would give a new perspective on the environment that they had to deal with, such as like in Lost World when they're dangling off a cliff. If a studio does revisit Jurassic Park, I would probably say it will, and they should definitely do a prequel and rated R version, since the books are very graphic. The film itself for the prequel could start with Hammond trying to make a living with his flea circus attractions, which he talked about in the first film. Getting some background of his new grandchildren and a recent divorce that he may come across, he was consumed in his work for the reason of his divorce. From his travels, Hammond sees a seminar featuring Dr. Wu and informs him of advanced studies in cloning mammoths, needing funding for dinosaur research. Through many investors and scams, Hammond gets the funding. In the book, Hammond isn't a lovable guy. He's actually a villain. He is very evil in the book. He is very greedy and more like the lawyer in the movie. Even though the actor was amazing in real life, the depiction would be more like the book style. He just really wants to get his business going and he doesn't care who will worry about or subside against it. Sorry, my dog is huffing and puffing with the warm air in the house. That's what she said. <laughs> From getting the funding, we can go to numerous areas around the world looking for a perfect location for his Jurassic Park. Talking to numerous scientists, giving education to the audience on why they picked Isla Nublar. Sorry if I butchered that. Cut to younger Robert Molden, the shoot her girl person for the Raptors. He would be hunting in the wildlife and get a background of his skills and why Hammond wanted to recruit him. Hammond finds him with hearing of an expert hunter tracker. He gives him a contract that promises him the most legendary kill he'll ever get. Robert would hunt animals on the island and survey the land with Hammond to find the best parts for the animals. Starting construction, the workers are forced to work with harsh conditions, such as hurricanes like we saw in the first film, cliffs like we saw in the second film, and local animal dangers such as probably since it's a jungle, tigers, jaguars, snakes, scorpions, maybe even have a funny segment with a, a beautiful frog. I don't know, that'd be quite interesting dynamic. <laughs> you serious? Once the buildings are starting to be created on Isla Nubar, Wu makes comment of the name Jurassic should be actually Cretaceous with all the dinosaurs that they're creating. Hammond remarks that it would be silly and more people would know Jurassic instead, thus the name Jurassic Park. Wu insists the animals will be great for humans, while Molden thinks otherwise but is excited for a new trophy of his wall. While they're creating this park, they do studies on wildlife separate of the dinosaurs, such as the panthers or the tigers and other wildlife in the area, and they see how they coincide with each other within the fenced area. The second half of the film would be creating the dinosaurs, which would be very grotesque. Since they're doing animal studies and they're trying to make the DNA perfect, they would probably get creatures that they don't want to look at, or like me, maybe missing a nose, or it'd have its guts outside of its body. I was thinking more on the lines of the thing. It'd be very interesting to get the gore and the rated R rating back into it and also the idea of not everything's going to be perfect the first try that they create the DNA. The T-Rex is born also in the second half of the film which is their first successful start of production of Jurassic Park. Hammond misunderstands the scale what he creates and gets in conflict with Molden. With many deaths on the island lawsuits pile up making Hammond hire few people including we get the introduction of Dennis Nerdy, 
and Ray Arnold with low budget, which they conflict but they agree to sign since it's a new exciting project, working with Dinosaur Park, or Jurassic Park, whatever. Wu continues to make fencing around the area, but the dinosaurs continue to get out because he underestimates their jumping skills or their strength, which we can go back and forth on Hammond going on hunting sprees for all these dinosaurs, which I'm not sure Peter would agree with this, but it is fake fantasy of dinosaurs hunting. Hammond and Mullen discuss of having another island so they can roam and make babies to cut costs of making more dinosaurs within the island, and also with making more dinosaurs, they would put all the babies on an island so they would grow up happy and maybe bring them onto Isla Nubar once they are all good and ready for the park. Creating the first raptor, Wu tells Hammond it will be the size of the chicken, which Hammond hates the idea and wants it bigger. Wu creates the big raptor from the first film, which escapes and roams around the island which the second half of the film could be more idea of catching that big raptor, leading into the first film where we see it in the cage and he yells, shoot her! And with other dinosaurs like the copy, they also get through the captivity and eat more workers on the island. While they're working, maybe they're peeing or something and then it eats their wee wee off or eats their face. It'd be interesting aspect of seeing how the workers are working within the environment. Since Hammond is trying to work within a schedule that's very tight, the workers are doing overtime and the dinosaurs are keep growing and keep getting out. It'd be interesting conflict of having the dinosaurs fight one another and fight workers while they're trying to get things done. An idea for the ending, Hammond wouldn't finish the creation of the island but only the entrance of Jurassic Park, the main sign that we see in the first film where they're driving through. You could probably finish that part of the film if they, if a studio wants to do more prequels, like a three set, they could have like the second island or even introduce a third island. I know there's a lot of Jurassic Park lore with comics and so forth, so it'd be interesting to get more idea of the background of how Jurassic Park was made. But if they just want to make a first film, then they could just end it with the entrance of Jurassic Park and then lead it into where they captive the big raptor leading into the first film again. And also an end scene would be the T-Rex into the half scale of first film leading to a potential sequel. The second film could be Hammond working with the second island and completing the build of Jurassic Park, which would be more into different dinosaurs or it can go in depth of his lawsuits and the second island. What do you think of a Jurassic Park prequel or should they make a Jurassic Park sequel sequel? I would love to hear your thoughts and also any other dinosaurs that you would love to see in the film. Maybe introduce Megalodon or Oceanic creatures. I don't know the name of the dinosaur but I'll put a picture in here where it has the long head like uh, Lake Loch Ness. That'd be interesting as well. And also who would you want to star in the film? It'd be interesting for Hammond to be somebody of older age. I think the Lord of the Rings actor in the first film would be an excellent pick but he unfortunately died. So what would your idea of Hammond be or Robert Molden? Thank you and have a great day. Bye. Oh, also thank you for the new subscribers. I'm starting to record more. So let me know of any ideas that you would like to hear. I create history, random ideas, filming, photography, art, and that'll be it. Bye.